Their killing has been described as senseless and indiscriminate. Shot at close range, these mountain gorillas are one of the world's most endangered species. The bodies of four members of one family group were found by rangers on their early morning patrol of the Virungo National Park. The largest, an immense silverback adult male, died along with three adult females. Two had babies, a third was pregnant. There are only 700 mountain gorillas left in the world. Most live in the forests shared by the Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda and Uganda. The park is visited by tourists, which helps the local economy, but it means the beasts are used to people getting close to them. Sadly, this may have helped their killers. The gorillas live in family groups. The recent killing means one family has lost its last silverback male, without whom it's feared they may not be able to defend their territory. Two other gorillas, a female and an infant, are also missing. One of the babies left behind has been rescued by wardens. The baby from one of the females was later found after the bodies were found, and it's being looked after by her older brother, in fact. Uh, he couldn't con continue to look after her in the wild because it wasn't weaned yet. So um, the park rangers who could get close to the group because it was uh, habituated, so they're used to the presence of humans, so they, could, they were able to get close to the, to the brother of this baby and take the baby off. Um, away from him and it's now being cared for by vets in, in the nearest town. Since January, seven mountain gorillas have been killed. Their bodies have been buried in the park. Poaching has been ruled out as a motive because the bodies weren't taken. It's feared they may have been killed by rebel groups wanting to use the forest land for charcoal production. Are you responsible for kidnapping this animal? The plight of the gorillas was brought to the public's attention by the film Gorillas in the Mist, which portrayed the work of conservationist Diane Fossey, who fought for their survival. She was murdered over 20 years ago in the same mountainous region. Since her campaign was launched, the number of gorillas has slowly increased. But these recent deaths are a huge blow to conservationists, reversing years of hard work and further endangering an already rare, magnificent beast. Jane Secker, Sky News.